Welcome back. If you've only just joined us, you're watching the Daily Roundup with Nina. Now, the recent handover of a communal land to the Tomanin traditional authority is a momental moment for the Tomanin people who have endured landlessness since Namibia's independence. This event marks a step forward in addressing historical injustices, as highlighted by the Minister of Agriculture, Water and Land Reform, Karl Schlettwein. With over 8,000 hectares allocated, this land not only provides a long-awaited home for the Tomanin community, but also brings opportunities and challenges in sustainable land management and resource use. Now, to help us unpack this significance of this development, we're joined by uh, Verona Kar uh, Karuhas, who is the chairperson of the Landless Tomanin Association. Madam Verona, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, Nina, and thank you for having me here on this panel. Just to, <coughs> to start with, perhaps you can, you know, take us a bit back and give us a brief understanding of the historical journey of the Tomanin people and their struggle with landlessness. Thank you so much. Uh, the historical background of the common in landlessness is, a way, is coming a way back. Since 1992, we've been struggling. Our people were placed there. Actually, from 58, they were displaced. And some of, the, some of them were moved to Soros Soros in the Taurus area. Mm -hmm. And based on the fact that they don't have any land, they were forcefully removed from the year from Comas, and they, were, they could not uh, call that place in the other region home. 1992, people were again demonstrating their rights that they are landless, even though they are in, the, uh, uh, in their own region, they were misplaced mm -hmm. and displaced. 1992 came and then the then minister, uh, a late Dr. Hage Gottfried Kringop, said that, okay, let, uh, let, uh, let me try to get out of, uh, or get, out, get out of piece of land for the community, the common in now. Mm. And two farms were availed. One is in uh, Ochimbingwe area, Erongo region, and the other one is here in Comas region. It's called Arufle. But they were, it was not enough for the whole common clan. Mm. You must know that common in are the original inhabitants of this mighty region, Comas. And this is where they called home. Mm. Voices in the other areas, that's where they belonged. But due to the fact that they were displaced, they don't have any land. And that's, that is the reason why we said we are landless mm. and we need our land back. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the community's you know, key needs and their, their main priorities when it comes to utilizing this land that has been allocated to them. Uh, uh, Recently, the minister, Carl Sleitman, and over 8,000 8, hectares for the common community. 8,000 hectares, doesn't, it's only a drop in the ocean. It doesn't mean anything. When, uh, on, on the question that you were raised, our priority is to have land where we can, so we can, we can farm sustainability, mm -hmm. sustainable and practice our tradition and norms. If we want to live off land, then the 8,000 hectares, it won't, it won't last in, uh, any longer. Mm -hmm. It won't do anything for us. Because due to the, due to the number of the common clan within the mighty region, even though we must uh, 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 be accountable for those who are outside the region, this one is only a drop in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And we need more land. On the topic of sustainability, of course, that is crucial. So what steps, you know, are being planned to ensure um, that the land is used responsibly even for future generations to be able to benefit from it? Uh, uh, I would say that, first of all, most, we must have land where we can say this is our land, this is our home. We can start well, by saying that uh, if you can have land, you can make a product of living. Mm -hmm. We can have, uh, you know, for, uh, uh, do animal husbandry, you can do crop production. Mm -hmm. There are many things that we want to do, but without any land, one cannot say these are only myths that we are saying now. It's only what we want to do, but we don't have any land whereby we can say we could do A, B, C, and D. That's impossible mm -hmm. for the common community. You said that the 8,000 hectares, in your opinion, is too little. It's only a drop in the ocean, but you know, some might see it. It's better than not having had anything at all to begin with. But ideally, you know, how much land is it that the Komanen community is looking to have at the end of the day? 
When the late president uh, uh, announced and established the uh, uh, a commission, ancestral land commission, we submitted our recommendations. And in our recommendations, we said, if, the, uh, without, if there is no ancestral land available for the common community, then we need land in pockets, communal areas in pockets. The reason be is that 8,000 hectares in an area whereby it's 3.1 uh, million hectares available, available here in Comas region. It doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, yes, we are grateful for that, for that little, little that we get, but just imagine how many uh, uh, households will be uh, entertained or be allocated at the 8,000 hectares. Mm -hmm. It is only few, maybe eight or 10. That's where the question mark is. Why can't the monastery, the minister, why can't they not buy land for us whereby we can say it's our home? You, you, you must remember, Nina, that area that the farm has been bought in is not in our jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. It's in Omaheke region. And the fact remains, those people in Omaheke, all Omaheke also needs land. And the minister make it very clear that if need be, they're going to expand this farm. Mm -hmm. And he, he wants to negotiate with the uh, uh, near, uh, farmers, commercial farmers nearby. Then it means that the original, the, we have been taken, displaced again from our original inhabitants, mm -hmm. where we have been residing already on. Our forefathers were already in Comas region. That's how I feel. Mm. Our umbilical cord has been cut off from the mighty Comas mm -hmm. and been placed there where, by, where we don't belong. On that note, what, what kind of support is the community then, you know, looking, hope, hoping to receive from government and also, of course, other stakeholders during this transition? You know, uh, I don't want to talk about uh, support in, from other stakeholders. If you, take a pers if you take a person to that farm, it's 140 kilos from Hunduk, mm. who doesn't have any transport in a vehicle whereby the, you can transport the stuff. Do you think that the person will be happy? Because you must remember, there is no health facilities nearby. There is no shopping area nearby. It's very isolated. And a common person, mm. some has been the, uh, uh, downgraded us, and we don't want that. We want to be known as the people who is more productive because all the commercial farms here in this area, in this region, has been, uh, uh, you know, the farmers are, the workers are coming in mm. and they brought the commercial farmers to that level whereby they can say they can uh, be a, a contributing factor to the uh, economical standard of the country. Mm -hmm. So all in all, Madam Ferona, do you think that the allocation of this 8,000 hectares will have an impact on the day-to-day -day livelihoods of, of the common people? Yeah, somehow it will, do, it will have an impact only for few. Mm. This 800 hectares, it won't do for the common in. It will never do. That's the reason why we said uh, we, are, we, are, we have been displaced. If the, uh, if the ministry, and in fact the government could have, there are farms available here in Comas. There are farms here. Uh, uh, what happened to the, uh, to the ruling of, or oh, yeah, ruling that is saying that one farmer, one farm. Mm -hmm. One person, one commercial farmer, one farm. Mm -hmm. But now, nowadays, in the Thomas region, you will get commercial farmers with within of more than five or six, six farms, mm -hmm. while the common in doesn't have any land. Now, uh, is the government turning a blind eye on the fact, on the cry of the or the plea of the common in community here in the region, and then ought to buy for us a farm outside the region, mm -hmm. and in the other area, in the other region? of the other Trajan authority, these are the Trajan authority recognized in Omahege. What about those people? Mm -hmm. And I think it will be the best that the government can, should look into this matter and buy another farms again mm -hmm. for the common community here in Comas where they belong. Your final remarks before we let you go? My final remarks will be, Nina, we need land. We need land that we, 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 where we want to be productive. And also, not only productive, to be seen as the rightful inhabitants of the Madikomas region. Mm -hmm. 
our people, our children, the generation to come, doesn't have any place to call home because in the holidays, this December, they have nowhere to go. They are more in Katatura, in the streets of wandering here. But most of the other community members who came, who migrated from their respective regions to Komas, to Wunduk, are going back for the holidays. Mm. But not our people, not the common. So I would like to urge the government of the day. We are very appreciative for, what the, for, the, for the gesture that they have done. But look into the matter. This one is nothing for the common. In. But at least, if they, they could have, at, at, at least, at least, there are two farms available in Comas region. And in fact, before they could have buy the farm, they could have invited the uh, elders from the community, the common in, mm -hmm. for them to go and see, first and, and foremost, mm -hmm. to inspect whether the farm is suitable for the, for, 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 for the common in. But I don't think they, they could have agreed about the, with, the, with this farm. They could have turned it back. But, you know, beggars can be chosen, but we are not beggars, to be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are claiming back our rightful land. And that's what we want. Madam Verona, thank you so much for your time this evening and thank you for joining us. <laughs> it was a pleasure, dearest. Thank you. Good. We'll be back shortly after. This